Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on SAP Business Technology Platform Tutorials with me Anubhav. In this series of videos, we are learning the basics of cloud application programming model. Our today's topic is authentication. So by far what we have done is we have developed and deployed an application on SAP BTP trial account. And now there's an important concern is about security. Right now, when we access our application resources, both the user interface and also our service into the deployed application, let me just go ahead and show you. So if I open my service, I can see my application and there is also a free flow of data to the end user into the Fury application plus also to my service. So if I just go back and access my service endpoint, you can see I'm perhaps able to see all the data at the moment. There is no security imposed at the moment when it comes to uh, having our application in place. So what we need to do now, we need to secure these endpoints. We don't want any unauthorized access to these resources, these endpoints, and that's where the authorization comes into picture. Remember, there is a difference between authentication and authorization. Authentication is about first of all letting the user into the system. So that's the first step of implementing security. And once user is inside the system, then what is that user can actually do? So authorization is what we're going to discuss in our next unit. But in this unit, we will take, you know, discuss more of authentication. So we want to enable authentication for our application. Now, what are all the steps to enable authentications when it comes to uh, our cloud application. Let's talk about that. So I'll switch over back to our uh, presentation mode. So we have actually a SAP BTP application, which is built on Capum framework. So this is our BTP app. And now what we will do is we will go ahead and add a access UAA resource. So access UAA is a backing service offered by SAP Cloud Foundry which will do a the authentication job for us. And this service is having a trust relationship with your identity provider. And then uh, what it also issues, it issues a JOT token to your application. And in your application, you will have a app router component, which is then going to receive this JOT token. It's gonna parse the JOT token and then give it to your corresponding microservices which you have into the Cloud Foundry. So this is how the complete authentication will be done. If you want the detailed training, how we create access UA resource, how do we bind it? How we, what is a backing service? What is a BTP application? What is CAPM? You can join my training on anubavtrainings.com. In this tutorial, we are just looking at overview of what we have done in our application. So let's get started. And I'll just show you what I've done now to my application. So inside our business application studio, we have first gone ahead and added a MTA YAML resource. So this resource is of type A access UAA resource. Let me open the MTA editor. And if you go to resources tab, you can see here a CAPM UAA resource, which is a Cloud Foundry managed service resource. And this is of A type access UAA with a service plan application. The, this resource would require a security configuration file, which is access security JSON, which I've also built already over here, which includes our roles. And then this access UAA backing service instance is what we bound to our, both the UI application and also to our service resource. Once we did this, already in the past class, we've implemented the application router. You can see the application router is already in place, which is going to redirect my request to the corresponding resources. And here we have added authentication type now access UAA, which means nobody can access these endpoints until they do not get a JOT token from UAA service. Additionally, we have also gone ahead to our service layer and inside our catalog service, we have added a capability for requiring an authenticated user to access my catalog service resources. Cool. And now we just go ahead and build and deploy this application one more time. 
after we do the deployment what we got is the service resource and let me take now the service resource and test it in a incognito window where i am not using any cookie so i will switch over and press enter and now this time you would see that before going to the application endpoint it's taking me to the logon page of sap standard identity provider and this is where i will kind of enter my credentials and just click on OK. So once I provide my credentials and say login, you will see that it launched my application. Fantastic. So now this is how we can authenticate our application with Cloud Foundry Access UAA concept. I hope you got an overview of this concept. More detailed training is covered in our VTP training, which is available on anubhavtrainings.com. You can just find the link of our course and check out the course details more about SAP CAPM and BTP training. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next session.